Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. My name is Kelly and this is my dog Xander and this is the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. If that's something that you're interested in, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. So in today's video, we're going to be quickly going over how you can use Canva to create mock-ups or thumbnails for your Etsy uh, designs. So for an Etsy mock-up, I'll usually come up here and hit create design and I'll do a custom size. And I'll usually do something around um, 2000 by 2000 pixels. So I'll put in 2000 by 2000 and I'll hit create new design. And so I'm just gonna end up with a nice blank canvas here. And so for mock-ups, it's real easy. We'll come up here to elements and I'm gonna go ahead and put t-shirt mock-up or shirt mock-up. Oops, there it is, shirt mock-up. And we're gonna choose photos. And you can see that they're gonna give you lots of different mock-ups that you can choose from. Now, word of advice, if you're making a design that could be used for male or female um, people, you don't wanna use a, uh, a mock-up that has a model. So if you used, for example, this mock-up here that has a female, and it's a design that could be used for a male, a male's less likely to want to buy this design if they see it um, being modeled by a female and vice versa. So if you're doing a unisex type design, you'll probably want to go with something more like this, where it's just the shirt on a blank background. Um, but if you are doing a design that's specifically for females or specifically for males, you know, then it might make sense to choose a mock-up that has a male or a female model. But as you can see, this is one example. Um, this one looks good. And so you can just kind of pull these out, drag it out so it kind of borders it the way you want. And that would be a good thumbnail for a mock-up. Now, this is a white shirt. You'll probably want to choose mock-ups with darker color shirts just because they sell the most. Um, you know, uh, statistics show that you're more likely to sell like black shirts as opposed to white shirts. But again, if you've got a design that's meant for a white shirt, this is perfect. If you've got a design meant for a black shirt, you might want something like that. Now, these are generic um, t-shirts, by the way. So this isn't a specific brand of shirt. If you're selling on Etsy, and let's say that you are using the Printful integration and you're selling a Bella Canvas or a Gildan, then it might be useful to go ahead and use a mock-up specifically of that shirt, specifically of a Bella Canvas or a Gildan, for example. Now you can buy those mock-ups on Etsy. So if you were to go on Etsy and, shirt, and search for t-shirt mock-ups, you can purchase those. But let's say you didn't wanna to have to spend the money, you don't wanna purchase them. This is another good alternative so that you can get good quality mock-ups um, for free. So this is a nice summer design. And so I can pick any of these. And once I've got my layout the way I like it, so I'm gonna do something like that. I want it to be nice and big. You always want the shirt to be big in the thumbnail because you need to be able to read it. Um, you don't want people to have to look really close or have to scroll in to try to, to see what your shirt says. So you want it to be big. And once you have the layout that you like, you can come up to uploads. And if you've uploaded any of your designs, for example, this Hello Summer one that we just made, you can take your upload and now we'll just put it on the shirt. So we'll have to orient it so that it looks like it's going with the shirt, shrink the size down. It's probably gonna be on a shirt like this, something around that size. And so that's how you would go ahead and make a mock-up um, for Etsy of one of your designs. And that looks a lot better than the thumbnails that you would get um, if you were just using the Printful integration and using their thumbnails. So something like this looks a lot more professional and you're a lot more likely to make sales. So I hope you found this uh, video helpful. If you did, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any more videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.